Underneath Satan, there are said to be five generals who carry out his evil plans. These five demons are considered to be the immediate subordinates of Satan and are responsible for executing his orders with ruthless efficiency. It is said they sit around a table where they get to divide their plan to enslave humanity. Each of these demons has their own unique set of skills and abilities which they use to wreak havoc on the mortal world. Despite their allegiance to Satan, these generals are also known to compete amongst themselves for more power and influence in the infernal hierarchy. It is believed that those who serve these demons and follow their bidding are also promised a share of the spoils, further fueling their malevolent agenda. The first demon under Satan is Baal. He is considered to be a king of demons and a high-ranking member of the infernal hierarchy and is seen as a demonic figure associated with idolatry, immorality and other evils. His principal function is to get cultures to succumb to impurity. He achieves this through many subtle tactics, some of which have been said to be the cause of plagues, famine and crop failures. Baal is a powerful demon that has been referenced in various religious and mythological traditions throughout history. He is often depicted as a monstrous creature with the head of a bull and the body of a man, or as a horned demon with a long barbed tail. In Judeo-Christian demonology, Baal is a demon of deceit and a tempter who lures people away from the path of righteousness. In some texts, he is also referred to as Beelzebub, which translates to Lord of the Flies. The second of Satan's generals is Asmodeus. Asmodeus is a complex and powerful figure in Judeo-Christian demonology. He is described as having three heads, one of a bull, one of a man, and one of a ram. Asmodeus is considered one of the princes of hell and one of the most powerful and dangerous demons in Christianity. According to Jewish texts, Asmodeus was once an angel who rebelled against God and was subsequently banished from heaven. He is said to have the ability to possess humans and inflict physical harm upon them. In Jewish demonology, Asmodeus is identified with the demon Ashmedai, who was associated with King Solomon, who imprisoned him under a mountain for many years. Asmodeus is infamous for his particular hatred for priests and religious figures. He will often attempt to disrupt religious rituals or harm those who are devoted to God. Asmodeus is also depicted as having the power to grant wishes or provide knowledge to those who summon him. However, this always comes at a heavy price, as Asmodeus is responsible for punishing the souls of the damned in hell. Leviathan is believed to have the power to control the weather and is responsible for the turbulent and unpredictable nature of the sea. He is considered one of Satan's five generals, representing the sin of envy. Leviathan is a demon of significant prominence in religious and mythological traditions. The demon is often associated with chaos, destruction, and is said to be one of the most powerful demons in existence. Some religious texts describe Leviathan as a massive creature that is so enormous it cannot be captured or tamed by mortals. Leviathan is associated with Satan and the Antichrist, and is seen as a symbol of the ultimate evil that opposes God and his creation. Leviathan is believed to play a significant role in the Apocalypse, or the Final Judgment. According to some interpretations, Leviathan will be unleashed from the depths of the ocean to wreak havoc on the earth during the end times. Some scholars believe that the concept of Leviathan was influenced by earlier mythological creatures from the ancient Near East, such as Tiamat from Babylonian mythology or Lotan from Canaanite mythology. These creatures were also portrayed as serpentine monsters associated with the forces of chaos and the sea. In Christianity, Leviathan is seen as a symbol of the ultimate evil that will be defeated by God during the final battle of the Apocalypse. Lilith is a female demon that appears in various religious and mythological traditions. In Jewish folklore, Lilith is believed to have been the first wife of Adam, created at the same time and from the same earth as he was. However, Lilith refused to submit to Adam 
and left the Garden of Eden and chose to dwell with demons, becoming herself a demon of the night. Lilith is depicted as a seductive temptress who uses her feminine wiles to lure men into her grasp, tempting them to engage in immoral or forbidden behavior and ultimately taking total control of them. Lilith is said to prey on children and pregnant women, causing miscarriages and infant mortality. It was believed that she would steal newborns in the night and brought them back sick and deformed. Some stories also associate Lilith with the spread of disease and plague. Lilith has also been associated with various supernatural powers and abilities. She is said to have the ability to change her form, often taking on the appearance of a beautiful woman. According to some legends, Lilith has wings often described as being bat-like, and she can fly. Baphomet is the fifth of Satan's generals. Depicted as a demon with the head of a goat and the body of a man, Baphomet is a demonic figure that has been associated with various occult and esoteric traditions. Some have suggested that Baphomet may be related to the pagan deity Pan, who was associated with goats and fertility. Others have pointed to the biblical figure of Azazel, a demon or fallen angel who was said to have been banished to the wilderness and associated with the scapegoat ritual described in Leviticus 16. The name Baphomet first appears in the 11th century in a letter written by a crusader describing a mysterious idol worshipped by the Knights Templar, a medieval Christian military order founded in the 12th century, which was involved in many controversial and mysterious activities. Some accounts suggest that the Templars believed that Baphomet possessed supernatural powers and that they engaged in secret rituals involving the deity. In the 19th century, the French occultist Eliphas Levy popularized the image of Baphomet as a symbol of the universal balance of opposites. The British occultist Alistair Crowley also incorporated the figure of Baphomet into his magical practices. In the depths of hell, Satan and his army of demons are always planning and scheming, looking for ways to subvert and ultimately enslave humanity. The demons Baal, Asmodeus, Leviathan, Lilith, and Baphomet have all played significant roles across the ages, as recorded in mythology and religious traditions. The belief in these demons has had a profound impact on the way people view themselves and the world around them. Even today, as humanity separates itself more and more from ancient traditions and beliefs, the idea of Satan, the ultimate embodiment of evil, still remains present, and it is said you only need to open your eyes to see its workings. The devil and his evil forces can often be subtle and insidious, hiding in plain sight and working to undermine our values and beliefs. Whether or not we believe in demons and the devil, we should always remember the famous saying that the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he doesn't exist. Thank you for watching this episode of the Mystery Library. Consider supporting my work with a quick tap on the like button. Do you believe our world is under the influence of demonic forces? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to my channel for more interesting and mysterious content.